Okay, playlists. What, what were you saying about playlists? I was saying that you don't like this object, you don't want your students to use this object, yet every time you open up, or a lot of times you'll open up a patch and there it will be. So we figured we would embrace... I'm not the only one who teaches this in, in digital culture. Which and is not a fan other of classes, Yeah, other classes teach the playlist, and it's really front and center and max when you hit these... Uh, you know these buttons off to the side they pull up the playlist uh you know you can just drag the file right over and it becomes a playlist it's a I, thing. right it's really easy to get going but i tend to not want my students to use playlists because sf play is more powerful and if you need a lot of capability you should learn how to use groove and buffer sf play is lazy and confuses students not sf play playlist playlist confuses students yes. i confuse myself <laughs> But so let's talk about playlists. In for thirty second. seconds or less, tell it's a us graphical about it. thing. You drag files onto it, and you can play them. Um, Done. You can <laughs> select an area that you want to be played, or you can pick just a drum hit out and make it play just that area and loop it. That's kind of nice. Um, let's see what else you can tell it. You want to play the first element in the playlist by doing this. Or a two, but that's turned on. Wait. Okay. You can turn time stretching on. Um, you can loop things. You can tell it uh, algorithmically, algorithmically, not algorithmically. You can tell it numerically where you want it to go. Uh, so let's see. I want to just go from here to to there. And it does it between zero. Zero is the beginning of the file and one's the end of the file. So you can tell it to assume a specific selection on one of these three tracks. Um, if you want to know about it, just poke around. Yeah, it's really easy to use. But when you want a lot of fine-grained control, I, I much prefer using SF Play yeah. or, uh, or Groove and Buffer, which we haven't talked about yet. But anyway, there's Playlist.